For over 46 years, a small spacecraft built on Earth has been traveling alone through the void of interstellar space. It no longer belongs to the solar system, and its original mission was completed decades ago. But something surprising has happened. The Voyager 1 probe, considered by many a silent relic of the golden age of space exploration, has just sent signals that left scientists stunned. What exactly did Voyager find so far from home? And even more intriguing, how did it manage to communicate again after months of virtual silence? Hold on, because this journey will take us beyond the known limits, into a space where no other human creation has ever been. And what Voyager 1 is now recording may change the way we understand interstellar space and the universe itself. In November 2023, Voyager 1 stopped sending coherent data. The signals reaching Earth were corrupted, as if the probe were speaking in an unknown language. It was like trying to decode a message from a damaged transmitter over 24 billion kilometers away. For months, silence reigned. For many, this seemed like the inevitable end of NASA's longest-running mission. But, like something out of a science fiction story, everything changed in 2024. In March, NASA engineers announced an almost impossible achievement. They remotely rebooted part of Voyager 1's onboard system, specifically the flight data system responsible for formatting and transmitting scientific data. It was like performing surgery on a patient billions of kilometers away, with zero margin for error. But the most impressive part came next. As soon as the system was back online, the probe began transmitting strangely different data from what it had sent before the malfunction. Something had changed, but what? Before we dive into these new signals, it's important to remember, Voyager 1 is not just any probe. It carries the golden record, a gold disk containing sounds and images of Earth, like an interstellar time capsule. Since 2012, it has been beyond the heliosphere, the bubble of our sun's influence. It is literally outside the solar system, immersed in interstellar space, an environment we barely understand. The new data indicate unusual fluctuations in the interstellar plasma. To grasp the importance of this, one must understand that interstellar space is not a pure vacuum. There is matter out there, thin, cold, and almost imperceptible. What Voyager 1 detected was a kind of cosmic murmur, as if the plasma were vibrating at frequencies never observed before. These variations in plasma density and intensity don't match any existing model. In other words, scientists don't know what's happening. Hypotheses range from interactions with invisible magnetic fields to remnants of ancient supernova explosions from thousands of years ago. But there's something even more provocative. Part of the scientific community has begun to consider the possibility that these signals are signs of structures or organized regions in interstellar space, as if the vacuum had zones of turbulence or even stability shaped by forces we don't yet understand. And that raises an unsettling question. Is the space between stars more dynamic than we thought? This is where a mystery trigger comes into play, something NASA avoids stating publicly, but that's hard to ignore. What if Voyager is passing through an unnatural anomaly? Some kind of gravitational, electromagnetic, or even structural disturbance in deep space? Of course, no one officially speaks of extraterrestrial civilizations or cosmic artifacts, but among engineers and astrophysicists, many are beginning to question what's really out there. And the timing is curious. Just as Voyager 1 was brought back to life, it began recording plasma behavior and signals never detected before. Could the probe have crossed a new frontier in interstellar space? Or perhaps encountered a type of matter or energy we've never witnessed? Meanwhile, on Earth, efforts to keep the probe alive continue. The mission team is facing a true engineering puzzle, how to keep operating a system from 1977 with 8-bit technology that has already withstood radiation, extreme cold, and is more than 22 light hours away. For every command sent, the team must wait nearly two days for a response, and yet, they manage to update the spacecraft software, alter internal routines, and redirect systems in ways no engineer would have thought possible 40 years ago. It's a technical feat that borders on the impossible. 
And even if Voyager 1 doesn't last much longer, it has already given us a priceless gift, clues that interstellar space may be stranger and more complex than we ever imagined. What many don't realize is that Voyager 1 still has functioning instruments, the magnetometer, the cosmic ray detector, and the plasma wave instrument. It's with the latter that the recent data were captured, and it's also this instrument that might help us understand one of the deepest questions in science, what exists between the stars. The data now being recorded can be compared in the future with those collected by Voyager 2, which, although traveling in another direction, is also outside the heliosphere. And more than that, these discoveries will also serve as a basis for future missions, such as the interstellar probe planned for the coming decades. But there's more. Recently, after the first signs of recovery, Voyager 1 transmitted a very faint signal, but with a modulation that seemed almost artificial. This caused a stir in some scientific and conspiracy communities. Although NASA explained it as merely a transmission artifact, the topic generated thousands of online discussions. What if Voyager received an echo, a signal return, a reply? Nothing has been proven. But the very existence of such a hypothesis shows how impactful this spacecraft truly is. It is the last active link between humanity and the deep cosmos a kind of solitary sentinel, crossing regions never before touched, not even by our most powerful telescopes. Here's a little-known fact. Voyager 1 signals are so weak that they arrive with less than 10 to the minus 19 watts of power. That's less energy than needed to light an LED. And yet, we can detect them. That says a lot about the power of science, and also about the fragility of our cosmic reach. So what's next? If you've come this far, you're probably as intrigued by this probe's fate as we are. And you may be wondering, what else can Voyager 1 reveal before its final silence? Will it give us one last gift? One last mystery? That's why many believe we're witnessing the final chapters of the most epic mission in space exploration history. And if the recent recovery of its systems has taught us anything, it's that not even the limits of time and space can hold back human curiosity. Get ready. In the coming months, more data will be processed. Interstellar plasma will continue to be monitored. And who knows? Maybe before its eternal silence, Voyager 1 will send us one more surprising message. Something that reinforces what many already suspect. The universe isn't just vast. It's full of secrets and, perhaps, of company. In the end, Voyager 1 is not just a machine. It is a symbol. A reminder that even in the face of the absolute unknown, humanity chose to move forward, chose to send a greeting into the void, hoping to be heard. And maybe, just maybe, that greeting is beginning to echo back. Because in the deep silence of interstellar space, there are still voices, and ours, through Voyager, is still speaking.